Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. I hope everybody's doing great today. Today I'm going to attempt to do what Model Ones is asking several people to do. They put it on their Instagram, I believe the Facebook as well. I believe it was in an email, I'm not sure, but I saw it on Instagram. They would like for Fashion Week inspired look. So I'm gonna try my hand at my very first fashion inspired look. I already have pre-painted some to get this started because it's going to be a little bit of a complex look but yet very simple at the same time what I have is my two nails two coats of Model Ones Black Lava and two coats of Model Ones 004 from their Midnight Party collection perfect red and black from my inspiration picture and I'll be putting that on the screen and what I see in the picture is there's black, it's a red dress with black accessories and some gold belt. Well, black belt with gold little chains and doodads. And that's what I'm going to try. And I believe it's, it looks like a netting dress. So I'm going to try to put a little black in, even though the red is netting and the black is netting, I'm going to try to reverse that and put the netting on the opposite. So I have my Luna License to be Sexy Plate. I'm going to try to use this image for the netting so wish me luck and I'm going to use for my black I'm going to use Model One's stamping polish yes this is nail lacquer Model One's has dip powder nail lacquers which are stamping polishes as well and gel polishes all in the exact same colors now this is black key it originally came in the set for in Wonderland so I'm going to stamp this and I'm going to stamp some I believe Born Pretty BPFW10 Anto A N T O. My sticker's kind of lost some of its thing. This is what I had in one of my Valentine's nails. I'm gonna stamp that on the black and stamp the black on the red and cross your fingers. I'm have a hard time with black stamping polishes. I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger image just so that maybe you can see it better and it's not on the edge of the plate. Drive me crazy. Now that I've got the stamping over with, didn't turn out too bad. I gave her kind of the roughy look because she kind of, she seems a little punk to me. So I've got out some metal doodads and some metal chain. I'm going to try to copy a little bit, get a little imagination of that belt going on. Let me figure out what I want to do first. I'm going to do two little buckles that are on the side. Just... I want to. I'm just using the Model One's top coat. Place a little gem on there. Ditto. Something that reminds me of the outfit. I'm going to cover it with top coat. Try to save myself a trip into the nail lamp. Push it where I want it. I think that's about where I'm going to want the chains to be at the same level. So I'm going to put two buckles on and then try to attach some chain. But I've got to figure out about how much I want to chain down on a surface. If you have someone to help you, that would be awesome. I'm trying to guesstimate my hand pose too. I may have to attach the second half of the chain after I know what pose I'm going to do. I think that's what I will do. I will attach the second half when I'm getting ready to take the picture and I'll show you the picture at the end of the video as well. But I'm just going to estimate so I don't use up a whole lot of chain. About this much. Three times. So I get out a pair of cuticle nippers that I do not use on my nails or my skin. I will never use on anybody's skin. These are only for decorative objects. I'm going to cut off a little bit more than I think. Try to lay it out flat for when I go to use it. That's also a very difficult part I'm finding. And then if you get any chain with kinks, you got problems. Since the belt actually lays in three ways, I think three different size ones will work. Here's number two. 
and you can always get rid of the last one if it stays on there where it's a half of a chain and you don't like it you just take your time get out some fine nose pliers get out some needle nose see like that right there it comes off if you play around with it enough it should come off the longest one you'll want on the bottom just how it's looking it's gonna be very difficult to do especially talking here This is essentially how I did the New Year's Eve nails. I just ripped chain right on through the decoration that was on there. Just clip it up, save this for later. Okay, I decided to change it up a little bit. It was just not working for me the other way. I've just put the chain onto this little piece of plastic. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of gel top coat on each end, cure it, then attach it to the nail. And I think that's going to be a much better method for this. This will work much better. And I can take off whatever. Just want to, just a touch on it. I'll just cut off the remainder. Just let the chain fall into the top coat. And give this a cure. And then that should work. It's all cured and I can see how it will lay. It's not doing too bad. I have a little kink in it right there. There we go. So it would have been even better if I would have pre-designed it for my nails. But you get the idea. And since it's no white top coat, it should come off. If it doesn't, this is still clear. Let me just cut this out. First, we'll try to pry it up without taking it out of the top coat. There it goes. It comes right up. Kind of. Sort of. Don't want it to come too easily. So now I have my two chains. Well, let's just see how it will lay on here. I may have to cut off some of this gel top coat, but it gives me something to look at. Assess, see what I want to do, what I don't want to do. Something to hang on to with all these long nails. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to just cut it down and then attach it. So I'm just gonna put a little top coat onto each fingernail, attach it down. I'm gonna have to do it off of the stand so that my fingers are just closer together than this. Just put a little top, put them on, put a little top coat on them, and then gently tease them into place. So you'll have to stay tuned for the pictures at the end of the video to see if I actually accomplished this. I think I'll get it. I hope I'll get it. <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned for the pictures. Thank you everyone for being here with me today. I really, really appreciate every minute you watch. Thank you. Till next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.